What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and back here in the distance behind me in this America red, white, and blue full body paint color scheme, we have this brand new Grand Design Momentum. This is the 410 THR. A lot of y'all have seen changing lanes in their design that they put together on this toy hauler. Well, we have it here. I'm in Indiana, in Elkhart, Indiana, at this dealer event where all of the uh, manufacturers like Grand Design have all their 2023 models on display here and I did not expect this model to be here. There's a lot of really exciting stuff in here. A lot of y'all probably know changing lanes from YouTube as well. This is the model that they helped design. So we're gonna go look at this whole thing inside and out. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that thanks to my father-in-law and really a full family effort, we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tour videos online. So whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, if you just search RVs con Luis, you're going to find his pages there where you can follow him or subscribe to his channels. And they're gonna be a lot of the same videos that I normally post. They're just going to have Spanish dialogue on them. So we're really excited about this. Go check out those pages. You can find the links down below in the description of the video to those as well. And like, follow, and subscribe and share with your friends and family. All right, y'all, this is the 2023 Grand Design Momentum 410 THR. And I have no idea if this is gonna be a full body paint package that will be available to the consumer or if they just did it on this one model here. But this is in that America red, white, and blue with the gray in there as well. Definitely not anything else out there quite like it. You can see what the standard Momentum package looks like with the sticker decals right here. So this is definitely a very bold look. This, I, I'm telling you, I really don't know much about. And there are a lot of things that are different on this rig than your standard Momentum. So a lot of y'all know changing lanes had a big play in what this model is. And there's a lot of things that are on here that are different than a lot of other models because of their input and influence there. Right away on the front cap up here, it looks super aggressive, really nice look here. Definitely a monstrous look up with the front cap and then a very aggressive angle there on the nose. Looks really nice. Love to see the Moride pin box up here. A lot of the other momentums out here have that Rhino pin box. This is a much upgraded pin box from here. And then there is a whole Volta power system on here. Now the Volta team is here and I'm gonna get a couple questions to them about this because I honestly have never even heard about this prior to today. Probably should have, but I haven't and I don't know much about it. They know a whole heck of a lot more than I do. You have a little plastic or uh, rubber cover here for your light switch up front for your docking lights. Like that that's there, that'll protect it against any mud or anything like that. And then look at this here. You have this massive dual door storage compartment. This is bigger than just about any storage that you will see on a toy hauler. Look, even this like two pieces of framing here and then all of your aluminum framing through here welded on both sides of the frame wrapped flooring here so you don't see exposed wood anywhere, battery disconnect there, and then check this out. You have your Rockford Fosgate, your Rockford Fosgate um, amplifier here, and then you have your sound controls for outside, out here in the pass-through storage compartment, so you don't have to go inside to control your noise out here for your speakers. Central vac connection here as well, and that's gonna be for your central vac hose, and then you have a 25-foot coil hose here. But this space, it's absolutely huge in here, bigger than, I mean, 95% of toy haulers. It might be bigger than 100% of toy haulers out there. Let's look at some of your storage doors, or your uh, propane bottles there. And we got quite a bit of attention this unit is attracting, as it should. Wanna also mention as part of the Rockford Fosgate sound system you have, you do have a subwoofer under the trailer now. Where that is at exactly, I don't know, I just know it's under there. 
And then you have your LED light strips underneath here as well. So that'll light up the bottom part of your trailer. I really like that because this will illuminate your floor space out here, come down your steps or whatever it may be. It's gonna help illuminate your space out here. So you can kind of see where you're walking around. If you have stuff stored under the trailer or anything like that, you can see it. Three awnings on this model. So your whole entire side is, has complete awning coverage. You're gonna have three ACs up there. You also have solar up on the roof. This Volta energy system is incredible. It's gonna be an option on a grand design momentum. So it's not gonna be standard, but we're gonna talk more about that Volta energy system when we go inside and talk with the Volta team. And, but we'll talk about stuff more on the outside before we go inside there. Really nice touches that I like that momentum does. Just even the aggressiveness on the way that they cut out these areas above the wheel. I mean, everything about a momentum just looks aggressive. You have the Cooper H-rated tire here with the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system, giving you three inches of travel there. Really solid frame down underneath there as well. Now, as you come to the back, you'll have your solid entry steps here in the front, your pull down steps or your pull out steps here in the back. That way, if you ever park this toy hauler too close to something and those steps can't fold out from the door, you can still get in through the garage from there. Fourth awning off the back here to cover the back patio and your patio back here, you can see no legs that make contact with the ground, unfortunately, but you do have the cables here that hold that up in the patio position. And you do have entry access into there from the back here as well. Now keep in mind, most momentums are gonna come with those gravity chairs here, at least they did in 2022. So hopefully they're still coming with those zero gravity chairs in 2023 as well. Really nice latch system here for how that patio connects there. And that patio setup will fold down, disconnect these cables to drop that into the ramp position and then you can load your toys up into that space there. Now back here, this is something that looks different as well. And I really hope I can open this because this is different than what we're used to on Momentum. Of course they have it closed, but, and of course I don't have my keys on me. Dang it, I don't even have the right key for that. So I don't know what is different back in here, but this is your fuel station back in here and you can see how big that space is. This is really frustrating. I might have to get this opened up and see what's back underneath here. All right, back here by the fuel station, I still don't have a key, but I figured out what's going on behind here. And this is going to be standard on Momentums going forward. Still have 60 gallons of fuel capacity, 30 for your generator, 30 for your fuel pump and your toys. You can take that 30 from the fuel pump and pump it right back into the tank for the generator to add more there. But this is so big because you also have a space for a prep for an air compressor. So it's not gonna come with an air compressor on it, but it will be prepped to add an air compressor if you wanna add that there on this momentum. You can see back here, let's run over here real quick. It's real windy, so I'm gonna backpedal. You can see this is what it looked like before, but I talked to the guy and he said every, or the momentum rep, and he said every single momentum is now gonna come with that new look that's up here. So that's what was standard there before where you just had your two 30 gallon fuel places or fuel uh, spots to put the fuel in. Now you have this bigger area here. This actually is like a metal plate there and you'll have the prep for the air compressor behind there as well. Um, do you have your black tank pull valve there? So black tank drain there for your half bath, and I'm sure there's a gray tank pull valve, maybe that one right there as well. Have your sewer storage hose compartment down under there, so you do have a place to store your sewer hose. All your water tanks and water lines are enclosed in the underbelly here, so you will have your water tanks and water lines sitting above the enclosed underbelly, above the insulation. Whenever your furnace is running, it will be sending forced heat down into that cavity to keep your water tanks and water lines warm. And then you do have a light out here as well, shining down into this area. So you can see this whole setup out here at night as well. Again, real big solar panels up on the roof. This coach right now is not plugged into anything and is running completely off the solar with all the energy systems that are currently on it. Then as we come around here, let's go back this way. Looks like you still have a gas electric water heater on here, 50 amp power connection. You have your water filter in here, Nautilus water management system, definitely the most clean and confined water system that you can get where everything is really well organized and you have your legend here showing you how to do everything. Outdoor shower connections, um, hookups for satellite and outlets in there as well. So everything you need all in that one space also has a water filter again. And then you have access into the storage from there and from here, nice big storage space again and auto leveling controls in the door. Does have magnet latches there. And then this one, I don't know why these aren't wanting to stay latched closed, but this one flips up and stays like that there. So you don't have to duck under anything to get down into your water management space here. So I'll say this maybe a couple times again through the video, tag changing lanes in this video because 
I don't know that we've ever interacted with each other on YouTube, and I also don't know if there is another video on YouTube of this 410 THR momentum on YouTube. So tag changing lanes in this as well, and maybe I can connect with them at some point in time and definitely want to say to them, I love what y'all did with this rig and how y'all helped design it. Definitely a lot of features that obviously as y'all being full timers, no people want. So that's pretty much everything on the outside here. Um, we're gonna wait for it to clear out in there a little bit and then we'll go inside here in just a second. So let's go ahead and head inside this Momentum 410 THR. Immediately you have the steps going up into that area. You can see definitely different than what we're used to seeing and any other toy hauler there with the steps in the middle. Coat rack and pin board right when you walk in as well and you have a Chase sofa. Definitely something I can see a lot of people really being excited about. Looks like that Chase We'll be able to come in with the slide out there. Might have to scoot forward just a little bit to clear the step, but no moving stuff around with the slide. And this is a huge seating space. Then you just look around. Tons of space in here. Big island kitchen. See, lots of different things going on here. This is your speaker system that you have all the different speaker arrangements on here. You can pause the video and look at that there. See some of your different features here as well as the floor plan layout. You can uh, pause the video, and take a look at that there. 16,800 pounds, so definitely a heavy toy hauler. Let's see, Let's start going through some of the storage here. Come down underneath here. You are gonna have a shelf space down there, pull out drawer and spot for your trash can. You have three more pull out drawers next to here. Bigger drawer on the bottom and then Look at what your view is gonna be from this. Oh, first of all, this seating here feels really nice. Backrests go up really high. So, I mean, everybody feels like they're a part of the party in this floor plan here. I mean, if anybody is sitting here, whether you're on the bar stools or sitting anywhere here, it feels like everybody is gonna be involved. You know, there's not much separation from people. And then if someone's in there cooking, everybody can kind of sit here and hang out and just have a good time with each other, which is what RVing is all about. So. Then let's look up here, these kick out, and let's see if these, how far back these recline there. Recline pretty dang far back, so you're gonna be able to lay down almost flat on here. And then cup holder there, I was looking to see if anything came out of there, but it does not. Now this is something that's really cool as well, you have framed out windows. So look at this here, these are wood pieces that are framed, so it encloses that blackout shade there. So we're used to seeing like some padded balances on a lot of windows. This is all wood framed out throughout here. So that is pretty nice looking as well. Gives that a much cleaner finish on your windows. LED lighting up above here. Momentums do have color changing LED lighting as well. So you can change the color on those, including up here as well. And look at that kind of light fixture here, that whole design. Everything about the momentum is just so, um, what's the word? It's uh, kind of geometric or whatever it may be. I don't know if I'm thinking of the right word, but. So many angles and cuts and stuff there that make it look aggressive. Then you have this chase here. Now, whether or not this chase does anything interesting, I'm not sure. It looks like you just have storage space down underneath here. Yes, you do. Just storage space down underneath there. So a nice big chase can easily lay out on this. I mean, me being 6'2", that's where my, let's see, if my head is hitting the headrest, that's where my feet go. So that is at least a seven foot long or more sofa here that you have to lay out on can easily chill back in that corner and get real comfy and cozy back there. Now I was looking to see if all four of these recline or if it's just the end piece. It looks like it's just the end piece that reclines. So these ones here, not seeing anything. Oh, that's why. Okay. This is going to make out into a bed. So this is what's also really cool. When you make this out into a bed, it's going to extend out to the part right there as well. Looks like yeah, okay, yep, so that is going to make this like a full, huge, massive bed in this area. We saw this in the Cougar 320 RDS in our video that we did there. Now, I'm not gonna take the time because I'm just so limited on time to pull this out and show you, but just imagine your bed coming all the way out to here and extending all through that area. You are going to have one of the biggest living room beds you can get, so that is awesome. Now, this here, this is your Volta power system here. I don't know much about this, so we're gonna get with the people on the Volta team and look at that. You do have your LCI panel here from Lippert. This will link to your phone so you can control different aspects of this RV from your phone. And I was looking to see if there were manual switches somewhere as well, because usually there are. 
We might have to come back in here a second. Let's go talk with the Volta guys real quick and just get a quick rundown on what their power system is that's gonna be an option on your Grand Design Momentums. Cool. You have a second? I do. Yeah. Awesome. All right, you wanna introduce yourself? Camera's rolling right now. Dave DeGraff. Dave, so the this Volta is- Volta Power System. So he is with Volta. So he was giving me the rundown already a little bit on this Volta Power System, but you wanna just tell everybody what this power system kind of is sure. and how it's going to yep, benefit them. To. So at Volta, we focus on, on four what we call pillars. So we have energy storage, energy creation, energy distribution, and energy management. So in the energy storage, that's where we use automotive grade lithium ion that's yeah. uh, prevalent in the automotive industry. Yeah. So very safe, high energy density, and a small space. So yeah. if we walk up front, we'll show you where yeah. the energy storage is. Awesome. Yeah, this is going to blow y'all away. Y'all are going to love this. So on the right hand side, we've got 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours of usable energy. And it's really about the size of almost two group 31 batteries. Yeah. And on the left side, we've got what we call our power distribution hub 30. So 30 amps, PDH 30. So inside this box is your inverter, DC, DC, um, solar controller. So all the periphery components that you would have to support this. Got and it. a quick, easy installation, plug and play to keep things simple protected and then long lasting got it got so it so this is the energy storage piece and then this is the energy distribution piece and then if we go inside we'll talk about the uh, energy management side cool and then this is all is this all working with the solar up on the roof yeah, so oh, cool. on the other side we've, we've unplugged it right so it's not connected to shore power right how much solar is on the roof of this rig right this now this has uh, 300 watts cool All right. So if we come inside, and this is where our energy management system is, you can see our state of charge is about just under 60%. When we got here this morning, it was about 65. And then the nice thing is from a user standpoint, the way we're running right now, we have 24 hours of energy left to support the, the trailer in its current configuration. Right. We can see right now how much we're using, so 484 watts. And what's fun is when you see that sun peak out, you'll see that time jump up and you'll see the power flow out go down. Right. So right now we've got some cloud coming yeah. that comes in. Yeah, we're kind of on a cloudy day right now, so not a whole lot of sun hitting that solar panel. It kind of comes in flashes, so that will definitely affect that. So highest we saw that today based on the energy input, uh, it went up to 72 hours. Just oh, wow. once the sun peaks out, you get that sun load. and Because we're not drawing a lot of energy as well, so we're right. really cool day. Right. So you've got all your controllers you go through here and you can set up the touch screen. You can set up how you've got your inverter, what kind of charging, 15 amp, 30 amp, 50 amp. So how you want to set that, you can go into different settings on, uh, do you want the inverter to come on all the time? Do you want it to be delayed? So we give the consumer that ability to, to have that kind of control. Awesome. And then a master on off switch right here. Very cool. So yeah, so this is gonna be an option on your Grand Design Momentums. What other brands do you work with that you've done this on? Uh, we're on the Winnebago Travato, Storyteller okay. Overland. Uh, Liberty Class A Motor Coach. We're launching with Airstream right now on all five of their Class B nice. um, uh, trailers, travel trailers, coaches. And then we've got about six other customers that we're launching right now that haven't been announced. Nice. And Momentum is the first? In the towable space. This is yeah. like the the towable there space. There you go. So we're really happy to be partnered with Grand Design. Yeah. And then uh, really happy with what uh, they're doing there and ex expanding the, the Volta lineup. Yeah. So really excited about that. This will be an option for your Grand Design toy haulers here. So I know that was a lot of information. The company's name is Volta Power System. So if you wanna dive into doing more research about that as well and figure out that is the system that's gonna best work for you, that is now an option on all of your 2023 Grand Design Momentums. So appreciate it. Thank you so much yeah, for welcome. giving that breakdown. Uh, very nice to yeah, meet you. nice to meet you as well. This dude is tall too. I'm like 6'2", and he looks like he's towering over me. Yeah. <laughs> so that gives you a good representation to, ooh, I forgot these steps are back behind me. Watch those steps right there. I'm probably gonna cut that out. <laughs> but, Anyway, but yeah, that'll show you how big this space is in here as well. It's nice when you get somebody as tall as 6'8". I mean, this slide out, that shows you that slide's probably right at about 6'8 yeah, yeah, or so. Better. Yeah, so and this slide's even taller there, so that's a full walk-in slide. So tons of space in here. All right, well, I appreciate it. We're going to finish walking through. We're actually going to go back to the garage back here. So as we head back to this space here, you have your pantry right there. So pantry is going to have that shelving back in there. It's a little shallow because you have the half bath back behind there. And then you have storage back here as well. Up in this space, 
you have another control there for your audio system inside, shelving space through here. Also, I forgot to mention, what do y'all think of the new interior color scheme on Grand Design? This is definitely a much different color scheme than in 2022. I didn't even ask your thoughts on that. So let me know down below in the comments what you think of the new color scheme as well. Here you have your kind of little coffee bar area and whatnot. Not a super deep countertop, so not a whole lot that you can store on here. Maybe more decorative stuff. You do have the actual tile backsplash in here, so that is a very nice touch. Um, controls there for, or sorry, not controls, outlets there, and then controls here for your Max Air vent fan, which is right above me, right there. When you come down in here, you have the Insignia four burner stove and oven. Very big oven, the biggest oven in the game here. So you have that, and then you do have a window behind here, and it is a retractable TV, so you have a window back behind there as well. Let's knock out everything in this kitchen real quick before we get back to the garage. Storage all throughout here. These are glass doors here. Kind of have like this little bubbled texture in them, so I'm not sure if there's like, if it's supposed to look like that, or I imagine it's supposed to look like that there with that kind of bubble texture, or maybe there's something on there. Can't really tell. Anyways, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that on camera. It's a very little detail. This is a TCL Roku TV, so smart TV, solid surface countertops, of course. Then again, your island kitchen, you have the storage up above your microwave and it is an insignia microwave there. So standard residential microwave. Have storage up above the fridge and then nice, you have these latches here to hold your refrigerator closed so that it doesn't open up on you. This is a Samsung residential refrigerator. Really important aspect here with all this, you can screenshot this and read this if you would like. But this basically is showing that Grand Design, they check every single RV they build before it leaves the dealership. So a lot of brands out there that actually don't do that, where they don't um, check every single RV. Maybe they check one out of every 10 or whatever it may be. Um, you have an ice box down in there, so it will make ice. But Grand Design is actually investing the money into checking every single RV and going through a full pre-delivery inspection on every single model before it leaves the lot, which is something that costs a lot of money and at Grand Design invests that money into their product there to make sure that it everything is fully checked before it leaves. All right, that's pretty much everything here in this area. You have your Rockford speakers up there. Um, no carpet in the slide out, so it does have this here. Um, this is a nice, you know, um, kind of same material here that's on here, that vinyl material. Un under here, I gotta do it because I show it in every other RV. In the momentum, you just have bare exposed wood down underneath your slide out there, so. Not the best thing. I wish it was wrapped underneath there. Now, whether or not that impacts your camping experience, I don't know, but not wrapped on the subflooring down underneath there like some other brands that we look at. Now, coming back here, this is going, you see all your stuff here with the garage, and then this is an actual, you know, fully framed out door there. Step back into here, couple different things to look at here where you have the garage here. This is a, let's go back to the floor plan as I make sure we see exactly what we're looking at uh, right here. 13 and a half foot garage. Now I wish I had my tape on me because some things that I know are important to people, I can't figure out exactly. So, oh, I wish I had my tape. Okay, right here, you have the half bath. So when you want the half bath, it comes here into the garage. Now this is required to get this big of a living room in a toy hauler where this half bath has to come into the garage space here and sits right about there. That obviously is gonna eat up about three feet of space there with that garage. So that would condense this down to about 10 feet or so to right here. So if you have something, this is about 101 inch wide body construction here. So this is gonna be about at least 100 inches wide here back in the garage. So if you have something that extends beyond 100 inches wide, or sorry, extends beyond this width right here, which this width, I don't know this either. And that's what's frustrating is I don't know exactly what that is, but it's gonna be obviously condensed here. This eats up some of that space there to make this a true full 13 and a half foot garage. Now you have the full 13 and a half feet all the way back into this area, but you lose some width there. Here's more information as well about the Volta power system. I know we already kind of got the rundown. Just want to make sure you know about that. Um, back here, really nice. You do have the camera that goes back here now, so you can see your toys while you're going down the road, make sure everything's still in place and where they need to be. One thing that kind of bums me out a little bit is having the screwed in tie downs here with the D-rings, not welded to the frame here, um, but I mean, if, it, if they're still doing it, it must be doing its job. So um, D-rings there that are screwed in and not welded to the frame, but that's all right. Um, back behind here, I wonder where washer dryer prep is. I thought it would be back behind that wall and it is not. So we'll have to further investigate that. 
TCL TV back here, that's a smart TV that will flip down. So it sits right in this area. So you can see it from out on the patio. Big window here, storage up above here, more Rockford Fosgate speakers, AC in here as well that is ducted throughout the whole art or the whole system. And then really nice new seating back here. Love that uh, Momentum does their own custom seating back here for everything that you got going on in the garage. And then of course, these are your Happy Jack systems that will flip together and make into, let's grab this here, make this into your bed. Simple as that, kind of press everything down in place there and you have a bed there that goes all the way across, basically like a king size bed. And then easy as we put it down and put it back up and you have your sofas. Now, a couple different ways these work when you're trying to get your toys in here, if you don't know, when you try to get your toys in here, you can put that in the bed position and raise it all the way up. That's gonna give you your max width clearance. Now, if you need more height clearance, then these also fold up flat against the walls, which will take away some of your width, but you get a higher height clearance. And then you have another bed up top there that will come down and sit somewhere right about here. So you have two, a two bed system there as well. You have ladders here to get up into your loft and onto that second bed. And then coming back here, you have a nice big patio awning over the patio here. And I wonder if backup camera prep is above the awning. It might be right up there. It's really hard to see the suns in my eyes, but I don't know. The camera could see it. I couldn't. So if backup camera prep is there. It'd be right there. Love that they do the LED light strip all the way through the back. So that's really going to illuminate this whole space here well. And then you're going to have the tinted glass patio doors here as well. Tinted glass patio doors that will go all the way up, or you can have them down to let some air flow through here. So this is your garage space. It does come with a table as well that will sit here. And then momentums typically come with those zero, the two zero gravity momentum chairs as well, which look like they're probably down in this box. So that's your garage. Sorry, I don't have more specific information about the exact dimensions of this. I know that it's something that's so important with a toy hauler and I really wish I had my tape measure on it. Maybe I'll come back out here in a second and measure it with my phone and then add those over on the screen so you can see it. Also, all your controls are right here as well for everything on that. Okay, that's everything here. Now let's go up into the bathroom and bedroom. Really cool space here where you have this middle bathroom. This is gonna have a sliding pocket door with a magnet latch. Oh, here's your manual controls here. So slide-ins, awnings, all right there. So that slides and then you have this latch here to hold it in place. Come up in this bathroom. Tons of floor space because it is a pass-through bathroom. You do have the window in here for natural light, LED backlit medicine cabinet. And then you have, of course, one of the best showers in the game with the tub-like uh, drop-down area here that's gonna give you much more shower height. Also, if you put a drain on that, this gives you almost a foot deep tub here for kids if it's ever needed. Have the flip down bench that will come down like so. And then you step in here and you don't lose any ceiling height. So this is about 6'5 or 6'6 to here. Then you have another couple inches. So even someone who's about 6'8 should be able to fit in here. And they might, they might have to duck down under here. This with me being 6'2, I don't even have to duck to get under this, but you do also have the wand here as well. So really nice shower system. You have the faucets here that spray water out as well. And then you have your two spots for soap there and a little lip down here. Also want to point out the fiberglass goes all the way up to the ceiling on this. So that is a cleaner finish as well. Max air vent fan in here. Love to see that. Didn't go cheap on that. And then you have your restroom in here in this enclosed space where you have all your own privacy and another max air vent fan in here. Pull out drawers right here. That looks like these are all the same size. And then you have storage under there. So this bathroom is definitely a win. Really like this. Then you go to the bedroom, king size bed in here. Um, I'll let you look at this here. This is gonna have all your information about a momentum. You can, uh, if you want to stop the video, screenshot that and then zoom in to read that. This is gonna have a lot of your information about the momentum there. Windows all the way around. Those have your framed out windows as well. Really nice looking new design here with everything on the color scheme there. Storage directly across from here with a TV now installed in the bedroom. Love to see that because in, in 2022s, I don't think we saw TVs in the bedroom. Framed out window here as well. So that's gonna prevent your light from coming through the side. And then look at this. They added all this extra little storage in here, just a little small touch, but makes all the difference 
maximizing every bit of space. So you can see this was made possible by this little area here. They had storage there that's also where this wall's at, so you don't access it there. But then everything through here, you have your towel hangers, so you can hang towels there, and then there's nothing underneath there. So they gave enough room here to build in all these drawers there for extra storage. Go underneath the bed, and you're gonna have storage down underneath here, legs for your table in the garage, and that's your storage space down there. Also goes a little bit back through there as well. Strut assisted, so that stays up on its own. And then this is more of a Tempur-Pedic style mattress that you know most people will be pretty content with. Outlets and USB ports here, little bedside table on both sides and outlet and USB ports on that side as well. With your storage here, this has the same kind of design as 2022 where washer dryer prep is back behind here. So take these shelves out and that's where the washer dryer would go. And then it will have symmetrical storage on both sides of that middle part where this all opens up. You have your clothing rod and then your two pull out drawers. Again, if you've made it this far in the video, tag changing lanes in the comments and let them know that I'm making a review of this video. I'd definitely love to um, connect with them at some point in time because I've had so many of my customers bring them up as one of the channels they watch the most in addition to mine. So I know there's a lot of y'all out there that have watched that video that they made as well. So tag them below in the comments. All right, and then you have that same storage over here. Cool. So that's everything here in the bedroom. This lifts up here as well. Obviously, I'm not going to lift it up because you have all these different accessories here for how this is staged. And AC in here, there are three ACs on this unit all ducted together. You have your directional AC vents here that do move around. And ceiling height in here is probably about 6.5 or 6.6 or so, somewhere right around there. Sliding pocket door as well to the bedroom. So that will slide out from here, conceals back in there. Like that, it's not exposed out here. It slides back into there and looks good. And that is pretty much everything on this Momentum 410 THR. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And again, tag changing lanes in the comments as well. And would love to have them see this video. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you are interested in this toy hauler here, I am actually in a sales position. So I would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making this RV yours. Now I'm located at a dealership in Dallas where we do not carry Grand Design products there. We carry them at our Houston area stores and our New Mexico store. So if this is something that you are interested in, we can see what we can work out where I can still take care of you and be a part of your purchasing process. And you would just have to pick up that RV from one of those locations there. So reach out to me, there's a link down below. It's the first link in the description where you have my RV inquiry form that you can leave your contact info for me. Select the Mesquite location that will go directly to my inbox there where I will have your contact info and can reach out to you as soon as I'm available. And we can see what we can do to get you in one of these momentums. Now this is a 2023 model. I didn't even expect it to be here. So I have no idea when this thing will actually be available and ready for somebody to purchase. But what we can do is try to get you the purchasing information. You can place a deposit on one and then that gives you that first right of refusal when it comes in. And then you can get one of the first ones of these in the country. So really excited about that. Would love to help you out in purchasing one of these and making this momentum toy hauler yours. So if I can help you out, go down to that link down below in the description. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.